The well-known Russian Z patriot from occupied Donetsk, Yuri Yevich, is stirring up panic among residents of Russia's western regions. He claims that the Ukrainian armed forces are preparing another offensive on Russian territory. He published a loud statement on his blog. Yevich stated that the situation at the front is not the best for the Russian army. He complained about the indifferent attitude of Russian citizens towards the so-called SVO and threatened an offensive by the Ukrainian armed forces, which the Russians have never seen before. The message, I will say right away, will be very unpleasant for everyone. Therefore, people will be unwilling to hear me, unwilling to accept this information. First, the situation at the front is now much worse than in 2022. You, dear civilians, just don't know this. What do you want? 52 countries are fighting against us, and the population of the entire country, from the first to the last person, lives by the principle, there is no war, there is SVO, which does not concern me. There is a very high probability that a major enemy offensive will be launched this fall. The offensive will be much larger than at Izium, with much greater forces, and most likely it will surpass what was at Kursk, just recently. It is possible that the enemy will occupy even large cities, including those under threat, Kursk and Belgorod, Yevich said. He called on residents of the western region of Russia to prepare for evacuation now, including packing emergency suitcases with documents, money and other necessary things. I strongly recommend, first of all, to put documents, money and everything you need in one or two large bags that you can easily shove into the car in one jerk. Secondly, a full tank and a car in good condition. And thirdly, keep your ears open. When the enemy starts attacking your area, don't expect everything to work out. Don't be sure that everything will end well. It's better to run away and get away, Yevich said. Earlier, Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov told that Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Buildings have been reduced to rubble as Israel intensifies its attack on Lebanon, striking numerous places including the capital. One of the hardest hit areas is Nabati in southern Lebanon. Israel dramatically intensified its airstrikes in Lebanon this week, saying it is determined to put an end to more than 11 months of Hezbollah fire into its territory. The escalated campaign has killed more than 720 people in Lebanon, including dozens of women and children, according to health ministry statistics. The United Nations said the fighting has displaced 211,000 people, including 85,000 now staying in public schools and other shelters. Airstrikes have forced 20 primary healthcare centers to shut down and disrupted access to clean water for nearly 300,000 people.